Hi everyone, Dmitry here and welcome back to another mockup tutorial. This time I'll show you how to switch artboards using bindings. So first off I'm gonna show you schematically how it's done and in the second part I'm going to walk you through the process of how I created this little prototype right here and how bindings play a crucial role in those awesome transitions. Okay, here's the thing. As you can see, I've got three objects on my scene. One of them is a symbol with three artboards in it, all containing the same object, but with different properties. Back to main view. Now let's create a scroll to switch the artboards in the symbol. I'm going to put the dot in a group and assign a horizontal drag to it. Now I'll click Edit Bindings. So to switch an artboard on your timeline, go to preferred position. In this case, it's one pixel further. Select your symbol and select the desired artboard from the dropdown. And voila, we've created a key that switched the artboard. Now go to the center, click on your symbol and select the next artboard. Nice. Now go to the end of your timeline and put the key for the third artboard as well. Now let's exit the bending editor and see what we've done so far. Just drag this little guy and there you have it. Artboard switch when we drag the dot. Everything is gradually tweening from one state to another. Just think about all the awesome stuff you can do using this technique. I always said that bindings is a very powerful tool. And here's proof. Link to the file will be somewhere in the description. So now that we've covered all the basics, let me guide you through the process of how I made this little prototype. By the way, a special thanks to Z Young for giving me permission to use his design concept for this tutorial. Z, you're the best. So I made all the assets in Figma and imported them to Mocap. Yes, you heard that right. Mocap can import your Figma projects. Just go to File, Import from Figma, paste the link to the Figma project and hit Import. Bam! Nice! Link to the Figma source will be in the description, so go ahead and copy it from there. Since all my assets are already grouped and named correctly, let's begin. So from the start I changed the artboard background took the masker object and drag it to the top, selected all the remaining objects and drag them into the masker. Then I selected the masker and enabled mask mode. I also added a nice little shadow to give it some extra depth. Then I converted the paper plane to a symbol cause I will store all the animation inside of it. As you can see I'm resizing the artboard to make some space for the plane so it can fly placing it a little to the right intentionally because in the last frame we'll see the plane gets back to its original position and it will do that by flying from the left side. Alright, now I duplicated the artboard, selected the paper plane and moved it to the right. Also scaled it down, then I duplicated the first artboard again, but this time I moved the plane to the left. Then I selected the first artboard and created the default transition to the second artboard. A quick recap. We choose the default action in order to customize the transition that triggers via bindings later on. See previous tutorials for more info on the default transition. Now I selected the second artboard and created an auto action, dragged it to the third artboard. Then did the same with the third artboard drag the arrow to the first one. Now let's edit those transitions. The default transition was all about easing out the animation. The second transition had to instantly move the paper plane to the other side of the symbol so I zeroed out all the keyframes. And the third transition was all about easy in and out. And also I moved the beginning of the transition because I wanted it to have a delay in regards to other animation that will happen in the main view. I corrected the anchor point of the paper plane cause it always gets messed up after resizing the symbols artboard. And converted the top icons to a symbol as well. It will serve as a trigger to jump to another artboard later on. Select the scroll group and apply the vertical scroll to it. Then edit those bindings. Move the timeline approximately minus 100 pixels. 
select the paper plane and rotate it to somewhat minus 30 degrees. Great. Now adjust the mountains to create the parallax effect. With the info blocks, do the opposite, stack them to each other. This will create a spring effect. Once it's done, scroll to the other side of the timeline and create the reverse version of what we've just did before. Info blocks get stretched and the mountains get stacked. Now let's trigger the paper plane animation. Select the paper plane, go to minus one pixel and select artboard from the list. Go to minus 80 pixels and select artboard one. Now look what's happening. The paper plane will fly out as soon as we get minus 80 pixels. Cool. Exit the bindings for a sec. Now let's edit the trigger symbol we've created earlier. Get inside, duplicate its artboard, select the second one and create an auto action and drag it to the top to make it external. Exit to main view. Now duplicate the main artboard. Return to bindings editor. Go to minus one pixel. Select our trigger and select artboard. Then go to minus 80 pixels and select artboard one. Exit the bindings editor. Now select the trigger symbol and drag that external action to the second artboard. Go to the second artboard, select the scroller group and uncheck the scroller functionality. Select this artboard and create an auto action to the first one. Now let's check what we got so far. All the bindings are correct, so let's see. Everything works just as expected. I also went an extra round and moved the mountains in the second artboard one pixel each, just to get them into the transition editor, then adjusted the movement curve to have this overshoot. This will make a little bounce, just to add that extra animation in the prototype. Great, you made it to the end of the video. As always, thanks for watching, I hope you had a really good time while working in mocap. See you in other videos.